Hey angels, welcome back to my channel. And hopefully I can get through this video without all of these airplane noises because a lot of them are coming through. So hopefully they won't be coming through. Hopefully they're finished. Hopefully they're done. Please just get out of here. Please. I'm trying to do this video and just you know, can I do my video? Oh, dang. So, okay. So this video today is about panic attacks and anxiety attacks. Even talking about them just gets me cranked up and nervous. I struggle from anxiety and panic attacks. And trust me, if you never had a panic attack in your life, you should be so thankful. I'm telling you, you should be thankful. Not a good feeling at all. Well, anyway, so um, this video is going to be about me giving you guys some tips on how to handle an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Most of times, well, not most of times, but sometimes when you have a panic attack, there's nothing really that you can do about it, but just let it calm down. Sometimes nothing works. But other times, there are certain things that you can do, you know, to help relieve yourself and to get out of that state. So I'm going to give you six of those tips that could possibly help you if you're in the state of uh, anxiety or a panic attack. Okay? So, okay. So my number one tip is pray. Okay, this says, I don't know if you see what it says, but it says, with God, oh God, with God, all things are possible. Okay, and that's very true. And here's another one that I have. Okay, let me read it to you. It says, faith. Okay? Faith is like a candle flame, a glow that keeps us strong. And faith is there to see us through when things seem to go wrong. Life's not always easy. We're bound to have some sorrow. But faith can help to get us through to a better day tomorrow. So when you burn this candle and you see its steady light, remember that your faith will help make dark days seem more bright. Okay, so that's my number one tip. Pray. Okay, so my number two tip is take a walk outside. No, you don't have to go for a walk like you're walking a mile or two or three. You don't have to do that. What I mean by that is just step outside, outside of the house, maybe on your porch, maybe on your, um, in your front yard, just to get some fresh air. You want to go outside and just feel the air. Feel the air. The beautiful air air just know that you're not stuck this way just know that it'll get better just know that go outside and feel the air so that's number that's number three okay so number four tip is Light some nice 
scented candles. I have two of my favorites that I'm using now. And it's this little purple one. It's um, Lilac Breeze. It smells really good. So, and the second one I have is this yellow one. That, that smells really good also. And that's Wild Honeysuckle. Hmm. Number five. Listen to some of your favorite music. You, me, needed me. Oh, you, me, needed me. Give a little less. Now you're here to come fast. But baby, who you need needed me. Okay? And nobody said that this was a singing video. So don't go judging me on my singing. Okay? Let's get back to the panic attacks and anxiety. Number six is take a nice shower with some scented um, shower gel. So I have some of that too. Smells good. So those are six tips I have for you if you're someone who so, like me suffers um from anxiety and panic attacks because I know it can be very difficult when you're in that stage very very difficult and I just wanted to share some of my tips that helped me from time to time I'm not saying these six tips except the praying part the other five tips I'm not saying that they are always work, but they're worth a try. Basically, when you're going through anxiety and panic attacks, anything is worth a try. So, um, thanks for listening, angels, and thank you so much. If you not, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, like and share my video, and I will see you next time. Bye.